Und ich sage Hallo und ein ganz, ganz herzliches Willkommen zurück zu einem neuen Part Law and Order Legacies. Ich habe gerade Tom befragt und mache jetzt hier weiter. Le Petit Point. We're going to start by what we call defining your moment. Gwendolyn Scott? Yes. I'm Detective Ray Curtis. This is Detective Benson. We need to talk to you for a minute. So sorry. I'm busy. It's important. My client is important. You can call my office. You know, a guy named Tom Newberry just gave me this girl's number, PR Flack. She likes to buy voicemail passwords and blackmail her clients. Maybe I'll call her instead. <laughs> Five minutes. Sehr cool. <laughs> das gefällt mal. Was that fun, Detective? Yeah. Sometimes I like to play rough. Well, so do I. But a little charm can go a long way. Ich werde bestimmt sein. Oder soll ich nett sein? Ich bin nett. Nein, ich bin bestimmt. Okay, you're gonna tell me how you deleted Rachel Trevino's voicemails. Whoa, down boy. What voicemails? If you don't tell me now, we're gonna take you downtown. Fine, and I'll call my lawyer and we can just sit there and stare at each other like a bad first date because I don't know what you're talking about and I don't like your attitude. Ja, dann werde ich mal nett sein. Sorry, I promise this will only take a moment of your time. You're a busy girl. Thanks, I appreciate it. And I promise I won't make up extra questions as an excuse to talk to you longer. All right, Romeo, settle down. Ask away. Gut. Promi klatt Rachel oder Tom. Ich frag erstmal zu Tom. Do you know Tom Newberry? No. Nein, sie sagt nicht die Wahrheit, weil er sagt, die haben schon miteinander gesprochen. Oder um, er hat ihr die Daten übermittelt. Um, Newberry sagt aus den, bei der Anruferkennung, Gwendolyn Scott hat schon zugegeben. Nein, das. He says he knows you. That's how we got your name. A lot of people know me. Do a lot of people call you? Not the right people. <lacht> Um, ich frag nach Rachel. Does the name Rachel Trevino mean anything to you? No, should it? She was murdered last night. We found her body at the Parkview Regency. Oh, poor girl. As if life isn't tough enough for housekeeping. Ja, also stimmt an ihrer Aussage irgendetwas nicht? Ja, wir haben gar nicht erwähnt, dass sie Zimmermädchen ist, ne? Also, das ist ja schon ein bisschen mysteriös, dass sie das jetzt weiß. Was weiß sie über das Leben? Woher kannte sie den Namen? Woher wusste sie, dass Rachel überhaupt ein Zimmermädchen ist, ne? I didn't say anything about her being with housekeeping. I must have read it in the paper. Nothing's been released to the papers yet. It must have been gossip. You know how these things get around, Detective. Glauben Sie ihr nein? Tom Newberry already told us you knew her. Oh, that Rachel. Of course. My mistake. I can be such an airhead. <laughs> I can be such an airhead. Das ist ja eine nette Aussage. Das ähm, sage ich jetzt auch immer. Ich werde jetzt mal die Anrufe noch so fragen. So if I look up your phone records and Tom Newberry called you and you talked to him more than once, now. Would I be crazy to think you're lying to me? I'd say you were just jealous. Haben Sie das Gefühl, dass sie kooperiert? Nein. Leuten aus der PR-Branche kann man nicht trauen. Ja, das stimmt. Sie hat noch keine einzige Frage ehrlich beantwortet. Sie wird wütend und das zeugt von Schuld. Sie hat noch keine Frage richtig ehrlich beantwortet. I'm not the jealous type, Miss Scott, and I don't like playing games. You knew him. Fine. Yes, we did business. I paid him for insider information. Dann fragen wir doch mal über die Bezahlung. You paid Tom for what exactly? Passwords. I paid Tom for access to voicemail accounts. So you could delete Rachel Trevino's voicemails? Look, I really shouldn't say. Did you want to keep her quiet? Miss Scott, were you involved in her murder? No, no, I did delete Rachel's voicemails, yes, but 
I did it for someone else, on someone else's orders. Understand? Gla ja, das glaube ich. Wie konnten Sie sich sicher sein, Ihr Geständnis stimmt mit Toms Aussage überein, dass Sie ihn für den Telefonzugang bezahlt und er keine Sprachnachrichten? Ihre Aussage muss wahr sein, da sie sie belastet. Ihr Geständnis stimmt mit James Grays Aussage überein, dass Tom Newberry im Zuge eines Hackerangriffs... Oh Gott, das ist ja... Sind ja Sätze. Ihre Aussage ist wahr, weil sie Curtis D. attraktiv findet und ihn beeindrucken will. Mit Toms Aussage, dass sie ihn für den Telefonzugang bezahlt und er keine Sprachnachrichten gelöscht hat. Das stimmt ja. All right, I'm listening. Why don't you tell me a little more? Was someone else involved? Who asked you to delete the voicemails? A client. I really can't tell you. I'm gonna find out anyway. I'm actually pretty good at this detective thing. <sighs> well, crap. I guess it's all over for me anyway. Here's the deal. I gave Rachel's password and voicemails to my usual buyer, Alexander Baron. Alexander Baron, as in CEO of Wider Media? The Russian guy who owns like half the television stations in America? The very same. Baron bought Rachel's voicemail access for me a few weeks ago and then told me to delete them all. Ja, das glaube ich ihr, denn auch auf ihrem, also bei der Rachel auf dem Notizblock, ne, stand dieses Wilder, Wider Media oder so. Also glaube ich das jetzt einfach mal. Wider Media war im Notizbuch vermerkt. Wider Media. Rachel wrote that in her day planner. It didn't click until now. Miss Scott, why was Alexander Baron interested in Rachel Trevino? She's a maid. He's a Russian billionaire. I, I don't get it. Rachel Trevino was not a hotel maid. She was an activist, a blogger, and she had uncovered some dirty, dirty secrets about Alexander Baron. He's a very bad boy detective. What did she find out? Baron has a problem keeping it in his pants, especially when it comes to housekeeping staff. We've had to cover up a few unsavory encounters. Rachel tried to set up a sting going undercover at the hotel, and I honestly don't know what happened after that, but I think she got in over her head. Did Baron kill her? And this is where my lawyer would advise me to keep my mouth shut. Come on, Gwen. Oh, now it's Gwen. I like that. Okay, look, all I'm gonna say is the Parkview Regency Hotel has a front desk, right? Ask them who stayed there on Saturday. Da wird der Alexander wahrscheinlich gewesen sein, ne? Ausgezeichnete Arbeit. Hey, und die Bonussterne auch alle erwischt. Das ist doch perfekt hier. That was Cormac at the precinct. Alexander Baron was a guest at Parkview Regency. Ja, das war Rachel doch killed. fast klar. He checked out earlier today and he's on his way to MacArthur Airport. He's got a private jet and an appointment in London. Well, he's gonna be late. Ja, wenn wir im Verkehr so schnell zum Airport kommen. <lacht> Mr. Baron, Mr. Baron, Detective Curtis, NYPD. We need to talk to you about the murder of a hotel maid over the weekend. A maid? Are you serious? I'm leaving for London. Look like about an inch and a half to you, Ray? Sure does. Mr. Alexander also. Baron, you are under arrest for the murder of Rachel Trevino. You have the right to remain silent. I don't know why we're wasting time here. I'm a Russian. I have diplomatic immunity. We did a little research on you, Mr. Braun. Rachel's blog was a very interesting read. Maids? Waitresses? Executives at your own company? Is there any woman you wouldn't hit on? Your mom? <laughs> Miss Benson, I am a handsome, virile man. I radiate power. Women are attracted to it despite themselves. Here's a clue. When a woman is attracted to you, she does not slap you with a sexual harassment <laughs> lawsuit. You've had 12. I'm a flirt. I get slapped with all sorts of things. Also, dann werde ich jetzt mal fragen erstmal zu Rachel. Did you know Rachel Trevino? No. We have DNA evidence that says you did. What kind of evidence? A rape kit. <laughs> 
You don't know what you're talking about. It was completely consensual. So you do know her? You cops think you have it all figured out. Guess what? We were lovers. Yeah. Ähm, wer sagte aus, dass Rachel keinen Freund hat? Das hat das ähm, Zimmermädchen ausgesagt. Die ähm, Theresa oder Theresa oder so. I'm not buying it. Sorry, Charlie. An earlier witness already told us Rachel didn't have a boyfriend. And you lied about knowing her just now. That's two strikes. A jury might see it different. When I left the room, that girl was alive. Alternative Theorie, Schuld. Ich würde ihn gerne auch ähm, wegen dem Stock ansprechen, ne? weil sie ja dieses Mal da hatte. Ich werde aber erstmal wegen den Sprachnachrichten fragen. You had access to Rachel's voicemails. And you destroyed them to cover up your connection. Not true. I never touched the voicemails. Nein. Oh. Rachel knew all about you. She was gathering evidence about you, about unreported assaults. I wouldn't know anything about that. I never even heard these voicemails you're so very concerned about. Okay. Hmm. You didn't come forward when you heard about the murder. I had no reason to. A maid is killed. How is this my business? She was your girlfriend. Ah, but you say she is not detective. Seems like you were trying to avoid this investigation. No, I had every intention of cooperation. In fact, when you found me, I was on my way to see my lawyer. Uh-huh, in your jet. He's on vacation in Florida. Der lügt, der lügt. Nein, der wollte nach London. Baron sagte, er sei unterwegs nach London. Baron sagte, sein Anwalt lebe vor Ort. Uh. So. Also. Lügenmaul. You said you were headed to London. It's just a hop, skip and a jump to Moscow from there. And then you'd be out of our reach. Your knowledge of geography is so American. <lacht> um. Wo frage ich denn mal nach den alternativen so let's Theorien, say, ne? Maybe this girl, Rachel, maybe she liked it a little rough. And you obliged. Consenting adults, right? Sure, completely consenting. And the cane could have been involved. Could have been. Tell me how the cane fits into this scenario. Was it an accident? I'm sure it must have been. Did she ask you to use it? Yes, she asked me to do it. It was her idea. She liked that kind of thing, I guess. Like I said, it was all consensual. This girl was kinky. She saw my cane. She wanted to try it. She was an adult. So you admit it? No. No. Yeah. Ja. Hab ich. Die Quetschung an Rachel's Hals, ein St sein Stock und die Notiz zu Weider, genau. Der plötzliche Flug nach London, die Quetschung. Und die DNS-Proben ist ja auch, ne? Die Aussage von das Quetschung am Hals und Stock. Die Quetschung am Hals, sein Stock und die DNS-Proben oder die Notiz. Das ist ja eigentlich beides, oder? Die Quetschung an Rages Hals, sein Stock und die Notiz. Ah. Okay. The bruise mark on Rachel's neck matches your cane. You just said she asked you to choke her out. No, I'm not admitting anything to you people. Come on, Baran. An innocent girl is dead. You want to be macho? You want to be a man? Why don't you tell the truth for once? Yeah. You've had 12 lawsuits? Yes, what of it? They were all resolved. I'm just impressed. I mean, you gotta be some kind of gentleman to cause that much noise. I appreciate your sarcasm, but I'm not allowed to discuss the details of my settlements. Aha. Women, they love power. They love machismo. But most of them, when they get their hands on a stallion, all they do is complain about the ride. Am I right? Hm. 
Yeah. And these bloggers, they're all feminists, right? Always complaining about guys, especially macho guys. Guys like you. Eh, uh, sorry. My lawyers have advised me not to take bait so easily. Okay, then that was wrong. The false fare is sad. You know, killing the witness to a crime gets you an automatic upgrade to murder one. What crimes? What witness? Rachel had evidence on you, Braun. She knew what you were up to. She wasn't a witness to anything. Those voicemails were about an expose, a plan to blackmail me. I thought he knew what the was there on the voicemail. You're lying, and we can wurde. prove it. Als Rachels Blog ging hervor, dass sie ihn nicht mochte, er machte den Mund auf Baron ist ein wohlhabender Mann. Baron konnte nicht wissen, worum sich die Sprache es sei, denn er hat sie gehört, was er zu einem früheren Zeitpunkt verneinte. You just told us you never heard those voicemails, so there's no way you could know what they were about. You heard them and you know it. You're looking better and better for this murder with every lie that comes out of your filthy mouth. You better wipe that smug smile off your face before you get to Rikers. Miss Benson, I'm innocent of this offensive charge. My lawyers will have this all thrown out, and my country will protect me. Really? We can place you at the murder scene. We can connect you to the victim and her voicemails. And your cane is a match for the murder weapon. Now might be a good time to panic. <laughs> That's a hell of a lot of evidence to throw out. That's why I have a hell of a lot of lawyers. Don't worry, I'll be out in a few days. Then maybe I'll call you, baby. Gosh, you are just not my type. Come on, Ray. Let's go get a bite. Mr. Baron can stew in his own ick for a while. Ja, sehr schön. Ähm, keine Bonussterne, diesmal beide falsche Fährten ne, ähm, erwischt. Ja, egal. Ich bedanke mich jetzt trotzdem an dieser Stelle fürs Zuschauen und dass du dabei gewesen bist bei dieser Befragung. Und würde sagen, wir schauen uns im nächsten Teil dann einfach weiter um und gucken mal, dass wir da diesen Mordfall aufgeklärt kriegen. Ich danke dir jetzt sehr fürs Zuschauen. Sag bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao, ciao.